business ends when they know you coming, and there's nothing they can do about it. They know it's gonna happen. People know what we have now. Coming back, knocking down doors, we're coming back uh, strong as ever. Coming back a two-headed monster now. What we got coming, it's gonna be something that the Rattlers need to see and they need to understand that. Gladiators are here and they're here to stay. 2022 championship, that's what we aim for, that's what we're coming to get. backs that understand the game and they, they understand what it takes never play one of them never played arena ball but he out there shifty spaz looking like he's a five-year vet you know but it's part of the game you got to understand that this game is different it's smaller quarters and you got to be quick and he's got it Devontae Jackson running back played for the Denver Broncos uh, I was there for one year uh, it was great experience learned from a lot of vets um, Philip Lindsay was basically like my mentor there uh, like, a, like me, a smaller guy, so I learned a lot from him. Uh, being around the uh, older vets, Von Miller, uh, just gaining, in, gaining a lot of knowledge, uh, it was a great experience. You know, it's my first time you know, doing indoor. Uh, I felt like Duke City was the right fit for me. Uh, great quarterback, you know, receivers, uh, O-line, um, the coaches, uh, so I felt, I felt home. Been learning the plays fast. Uh, I'm excited, I can't wait for the actual game to come. Our other running back, Hicks, he just, he's just bowling ball. He's a bowling ball. I mean, he come ready. He's looking for a hit. So if you want to hit him, you better bring it, because he's not backing down. And that's that's an understatement. My name is Quavon Hicks from Georgia, running back. Went to the University of Georgia, fullback. Uh, played with a lot of the greats. Uh, was in camp with Tampa Bay Bucks. Now I'm here with Duke City. Just looking back from uh, last season, uh, I think Nate, Dello, a lot of the vet guys that are still here that came back returning. Just wanted to join a club that was, you know, capable of winning the championship. A lot of grit when you walk in the building from the head coach all the way down to the kick. Like we all know that every day we got to get, you know, a little bit better. One percent is coach say. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. It's going to be a show this year. I believe we just know um, teams like to keep, keep the ball out of our offense's hands last year. And they ran the ball a lot. So our objective is very simple. Stop the run. Um, due to our offense being one of the best passes and offenses in the league, we're going to naturally get good at stopping the pass. So we come out understanding we have to stop the run. We have a, we have a, a very bold statement of what we have to do. It's very plain objective. Um, our guys understood that objective since last year. We didn't meet that goal as much as we wanted to with a couple key players back like Jason Serta. A few of these DBs looking like they, they're actually catching on to what we did still last year. Uh, D-line flying around the ball. We are definitely anticipating that we're going to stop the run this year. Man. And uh, we have a first year player, Roger Chapman, who's probably going to be one of the better lockdown corners in the league. My name is Roger Chapman. I'm from LA. I play DB, kick return. Come in here, coach gave me a shot. A lot of the coaches didn't want to give me no shot because of my height. Uh, the player is great. The coaches staff great. This is my first year playing the arena ball. Never played this. I had to adjust to the field, and, uh, the system, the cleats, really every little thing. I had to just work on. Come on down and come and see us play. You're gonna love it for sure. You know? The environment gonna be great. Watch. We got a lot of guys that we excited about. Those are just a couple. My name is Dexter Reese, and I play DB. This will be my second year with Duke City. Uh, last year was a good. Um, it was a good season for us. Uh, I was hurt most of the year, but just seeing the camaraderie of the team coming together, pulling it together at the end, we really uh, pulled together. We showed we were strong together. No matter what adversity we went through, uh, I can see a lot of people right now, a lot of experience came back, honestly. And a lot of people have the same goal in mind, and it's just to win a championship. We know we have the talent. We know we have the coaches. We know we have the strategy. We just got to put it together. And whoever come our way, they better be ready for us. Hey, my whole life has been adversity. adversity and I've overcame everything. I love to see obstacles in the way, because I know I'm going to tear them down and keep going. So whatever the mountain is, it's gonna be moved one way or the other. Either I'm gonna have the strength to climb it, I'm gonna have the patience to go around, but that mountain gonna be moved. And hey, when you feel like something took from you, you gotta go and take it back. I came back to fight my brothers. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight and we're gonna take it. We're gonna take the whole IFL. Oh, hey, what's happening? 
See the way I walk, I'm a bad man I'm the major, I'm the general and captain No heart, I can see it in your cat scan Oh man, someone tell him I'm a savage and a monster And I don't really care, I don't wanna talk I just make them disappear ah, Hush your mouth when I come around Shut your mouth. Make one more move and we gon' run them down I'm exactly Keep right. working, hey man, no matter what man This gladiator shit man, all day man Gladiators on me, gladiators on three One, two, three, gladiators! God has blessed us to come full circle to the March 19th. We ended at the Footprint Center, we start up at the Footprint Center. You see the gladiators that we're coming? Yeah, every bit of fight that we came with last year in that last game, with a little bit more intensity just because of the way it ended. So I'm pretty sure that every fan that was there at that game, every player that was there at that game understood the intensity that was there, understand the, the criticalness of the game, especially the end of the game. But just understand, we coming with that same intensity. We're not coming up short. We don't want to come up short. We're not going to allow it to come up short. We as the Duke City Gladiators are beyond excited for the 2022 season and the opportunity that we have to bring yet another championship back to New Mexico. Our mission is to create community champions and we will continue to support our city, state, and community in every avenue that we possibly can.